Okay, you don't have to go to a fancy restaurant to have a delicious meal, and our next guest proves that. Her new cookbook, Home Cooking, equips readers with dozens of different recipes ranging from breakfast through dinner that you can make right in your own kitchen. Author Kate McDermott joins us now. And what are we going to make today, Kate? Well, Jim, we're going to be making mystery squash cookies. And I bet you don't know what the mystery ingredient is. Uh, I don't yet. Oh, guess what it is. Could it have something to do with squash? I think you're right. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, that's so great. Well, so, tell me about your cookbook now. It has, we can find this in your cookbook, right? Absolutely. And it's we called Home it. Cooking? It's called Home Cooking with Kate McDermott. Uh, this is my second book. My first book was Art of the Pie, which mm -hmm. uh, received a James Beard nomination. For, Excellent. That's pretty exciting that's for a first-time really author. That's really good. For a first time, absolutely. So this is my second, and okay. I'm very excited. And uh, these are things that you, we would encourage our viewers to try at home, to yes. try to cook at home. These are recipes that I've made for my family for decades, mm -hmm. and many of these recipes are ones that my grandmother taught me how to make. Excellent. So they've been trialed and tested, and they're ready to go. Well, I hope you like them, too. Okay, let's see. So this is mystery squash. squash. There is a mystery ingredient, mm -hmm. and it may or may not be squash. Okay. So yes, we're going to be using uh, any kind of squash. You could mm -hmm. also use sweet potatoes. So if you have some extra uh, leftover from dinner, say you have mm -hmm. a half of a, a half a cup or so of sweet potato, you could use that also. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be mixing up this little egg. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to throw that in there. Excellent. Uh huh. And then set that aside. Would you like to dump in some almond meal for me? Would I? Okay. Do I do it all at once? Just dump. This is home cooking. Okay. Not fancy cooking. And then uh, we're going to put the sugar in. Sugar? You're going to be the dumper. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and Sounds so glamorous. There we have some vanilla. I'll put the vanilla in. There we okay. go. There's some lemon zest. Lovely. And here's our mystery ingredient. There it this is. This is some butternut squash. Do you actually taste the butternut squash I when you? I hope so. Okay. Here, we'll just sort of like put that in like this. Mm -hmm. We don't have to be too accurate. And then we're just going to mix that all together with a fork or, you know, if you're really into it, you could even use your fingers. Oh, should I? Should I use my fingers? <laughs> That's going to be a mess, isn't it? Uh-huh. Okay. So we just mix that until it's well mixed. Okay. Doing great. Thank you. Looks like getting you, my exercise yeah, today. Yeah. Just three more hours and uh, we'll be all set here. Okay. Just three more hours. Let me help with that a little bit more. Okay. There you we could go. See that I was yeah. Failing. Yeah. So we'll just and it will get. Um, we just want it so it comes together. Yeah, it's coming okay. together. Yeah. I thought you know it got to that point where I thought this is never going to mix and now. Isn't that kind of like life? It is. <laughs> Cooking is a metaphor. <laughs> Yeah. There's always a mystery ingredient in life too, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so this is And you is may or may good. not get squashed. You can keep you can use these jokes with your friends. <laughs> You're so funny. So I do have another one made here. And now we get to have some fun. Okay, okay. through the magic of television. Through the magic of television, we're going to be making these. Oh my goodness. Now, so what They're we'll beautiful. do is we'll take our a little bit of this. Okay. And you can either do this with your fingers or um, with spoons, we're mm -hmm. going to take a little bit, roll it lightly. Just like Play-Doh. Yeah, a very tasty Play-Doh. And then we decide, what do we want to roll it in? Do we want to roll it in sugar? Okay, very good. You're doing great. It's sticking okay. to me. And then we put it on here. <laughs> a little cooking music. <laughs> here we go. There you go. Perfect. Excellent. Or do we want to put it in some uh, coconut? Ooh, oh, I see. We can, we can mix you and match can here. You can mix and match. Love it. Or maybe you want coconut and chocolate. It really is sticking to my fingers, isn't it? Yeah, you can, um, you can lick your fingers if you want. Oh, and I would never do that while I'm cooking. Okay. Not while people are watching. I do that at home. <laughs> oh, that's good. So those are cashews. Can we cashews. just eat it like that? Oh, you could. You could. Although really with egg, you want to be. We want to make sure mm, that. Got to go cook. wash my hands. Yes, yes. So and I it's have a fake a sink, bit. by the way. That's right here. Wipe your hands off, oh, Jim. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, just like your mom would say, Jim, let's wipe your handies off now. <laughs> <laughs> so then we would fill up our tray, and these okay. go into the oven, at, and they bake for about 15 okay. to 20 minutes. Through the magic of television, yes, let's put it in the they oven. Do. In the oven, one, two, three, and. and oh my goodness! Voila. Oh, careful! Those are hot. Oh, 
They are. Would you like to try one? I would. That's what this whole thing has been leading up yes. to. I want to try one. Mmm. You know what? The texture is amazing. Yeah. They don't. You. There's a little bit of firm, like a firm sort of slightly crispy shell mm -hmm. inside, smooth and creamy and delicious. I'm so glad you think so. I really like mm. these. And one of the things about them is that they're gluten-free and mm -hmm. the only dairy in them if you consider egg dairy. But there's no butter, there's no milk, so these are wonderful. Wow. And there's You're so kidding. many different... They should taste terrible. <laughs> because they're good They're for missing you. everything, but they're, they're great. <laughs> they are. What this. else did you bring for us? Well, I brought some tiny chocolate chippers. Mm -hmm. These are... Um, these do have flour and uh, butter in them, and I make them really small because they're kind of like addicting, like potato chips. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is, this is evil. They're small enough you can just like pop one in your mouth and forget about it. Do you think I should leave them for you? you make them bigger. <laughs> make them and bi then I brought my uh, my favorite pie cottage scones, mm -hmm. which uh, my little home in Port Angeles, Washington, is called Pie Cottage. And then just because I do more things than baking, um, I brought some potato salad, which is awfully fun for picnics or oh. for lunch or just to eat out of the refrigerator. We never do that, though, do you? Nice. Is there a secret to your potato salad? Yes. What is it? I'm not sure. It's a secret. <laughs> it's a secret. Buy the cookbook and maybe you'll find out. Kate will be at Book Larder in Fremont tonight from 6.30 to 8 o'clock. We've posted more info on New Day's website along with Kate's recipe for mystery squash cookies, which do include a mystery ingredient that we are not going to share with you right now. Up next, how a new book is coaching parents to help their children make smarter choices. We'll be right back. Thank you so much.